Good morning, everybody. It's day 25, uh, getting ready to leave Hospital de Orbigo. This was, I swear, the best arbergue experience I've had so far. We just finished breakfast, five euros. It was wonderful. Um, if you're coming to Hospital de Orbigo, I can highly recommend uh, Casa Hildagos. One will take care of you here. It's a great place. So let's get on the road. We're walking to Astorga today, right down this way. Bye. Leaving Hafata de Orbigo, there's two ways to go. You can go straight, which is the roadway, or you can go this way, which is the traditional way. But you can see over here, um, yeah, the traditional way you do get to stop in like two places. Uh, the roadway, you don't get to stop anywhere for almost 10 kilometers. So I'm going to take the traditional way, which is this direction. We're here in Santa Bernas de Valde Iglesias. We've walked five and a half kilometers. There's a church up ahead. After this, we have a 7.7 .7 kilometer stretch without any water. So we're gonna fill up on water, take a little break here, and we'll see you on the road. It is feeding time for all the cows. They were just kind of shifting back and forth. It looked like they were dancing. Look at them, like scoot over. This is my spot. And then the poor babies are over here. It's getting warm out. We got to get on our way. Climbing the hills on the way to Astorga. We found this guy here. He's got his, I don't know, his blanket. We got a little statue over here and some crosses and some crosses here. But it's a nice place for a break. You'll see the selfies later. This is our walk to Astorga today. It's pretty nice. It's pretty breezy, pretty easy. Lots of pilgrims out. Uh, I mean, it's not crowded or anything, but we're seeing lots of people. Almost 11 o'clock. Um, got a kind of rocky path. It's gone up and down a little bit all day long. Got the mountains in front of us. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's pretty stony. Bring some water. It's hot out today. Well, this is a welcome sight after about four hours of tramping in the sun look at this guy okay, he's got this all set up i guess you could sleep out here okay this guy is working really really hard he has this little stand all set up he has this area back here where i think you can sleep or set up your tent i guess you can sleep out here in the under the stars if you wanted to he's got lots of food and fruit and drinks um, he's got a little oven there, I guess, for on the evenings when it's cold. It looks like it's going right now. Maybe he's making coffee. So what a great idea. And he's made this really pretty. It's like blooming garden. It is 12 o'clock. Astorga is in view. Wow, you can see how big the cathedral is there. And the next town uh, right below us. We're almost there, and Astorga is about four kilometers from that little town. So the breeze is kept up. It's pretty hot, though. Um, I took enough water today, so, but if you're walking the stretch, make sure you take enough water. Well, we've made it to San Justo de la Vega, four more kilometers to Astorga. We need a break, though. See you. to Astorga if you go to the left which is a shorter way you get to come over this nice bridge um, that goes over the railroad tracks it's not hard though I was dreading it but it was okay, okay I got a double room checked in for the night a little bit more expensive than what we wanted but what the heck it's Astorga it's a private room yeah big bath they brought our luggage up and everything so we'll go on and explore Astorga in just a little bit we have to rest first we're at the um, Astorga Cathedral, and we're gonna go inside and see what this cathedral has. It says this is a unique cathedral. I think this portal here is stunning. Just something completely different. I am touring the uh, cathedral here in Astorga. It's quite pretty. They have you go through the museum first, which is okay, but you can only look at so many old statues. A lot of this church is not that old. They said a lot of it was built in the uh, 17, 1800s. So let's move around and see some more.
This is an interesting altar. It's got lots of um, enamel work on it. And then behind it on the wall, you can see that it was painted once. And just the pinks are a bit different. It's completely different from uh, the usual altars. So we're down here in this nave. This is a really unusual altar. But we've got some nice vaulting up here too. It's a real realistic looking. I guess that's what almost supposed to be John the Baptist, but I don't think it is. This is another one of those really unique, realistic altars. I've never seen anything like this before. Obviously the showpiece of this entire cathedral is this altar. It's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's different, it's unusual. I wish I could get close to it, but you can't. Look at all these wood carvings for these chairs. This is, wow. Just wow. And then they have this beautiful uh, Baroque organ with the trumpet pipes. It's lovely. More gold, more statues. The church seems to have um, more of the altars with statues on that I've, I've not seen in other churches here in Spain. So they have all these flags or banners here. I hope someone can explain to me what they're about. And they've all got plastic flowers up at the top of them. I'm gonna guess they were used for some sort of procession or maybe they hang them up in the church. I don't know. Tell me. Hey, it's time for the Camino tip number four. I'm not filming me because I'm in my nightgown. I don't feel good. I've got a cold again. So we'll make this real quick. Make time when you visit towns to go visit some of the museums and the cathedrals. Um, some of the audio guides have, they need earphones. So bring earphones with you, some plugs. And uh, just make time to go and see those things. So many of these towns have fabulous museums. And if you get there too late in the daytime, you can't go. They do close for a siesta quite often. So, you know, adjust that. It makes sense to have a shorter day and be able to sightsee. We spend all this money to come to Spain or Portugal, go see what the city has to offer. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow when hopefully I feel better.